250,000 subscribers, a quarter of a million. The George Mason Nation is really out here. The biggest catfish of 2019. We are one of the fastest growing channels of the year. We've even broke Social Blade. And all of you as the George Mason Nation are my apprentices. And as your teacher, I must teach you the ways. The ways of the catfish. I kept getting DMs on Instagram and emails of people asking me for help. They got themselves in a sticky situation and they needed to catfish their way out of it. So I did it. I set up an email. Fake my trip at gmail.com where you guys can email me your photos and your story and I will help you with what you need and you get a chance to be in a video for the nation the George Mason nation so the email was set up it was time for me to help you we had over 200 emails so let's see what we've got here I mean we've got a lot of emails <laughs> you can say that again all right we've got one here from Travis hey George I want the photo I sent you Photoshop with a new Jeep in Hawaii we have this deal where he is my high school teacher and no doubt I would have failed all of his classes however he decided to pass me with a good grade with the deal that I buy him a Jeep in Hawaii. I'm not sure how legal that is. Your teacher's like, uh, it's an F from you. No, 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 sir, sir, sir. I'll buy you a Jeep in Hawaii. Well, in that case, you're right. It's an A from me. You can choose if you want the photo of me or just him. I mean, there's a few issues with this, right? So you want me to Photoshop your teacher next to a Jeep to prove to him that you bought him a Jeep. But why would he be next to the Jeep? Because he would know that he never posed next to a Jeep. So how does that prove you bought him a Jeep? I don't get it. Look, Travis, I'm gonna do you a favor right now. All right, you see this? Show this to your teacher. Say you've bought for him and hopefully by the time he goes to Hawaii he's not your teacher anymore and you've got away with it. This is off to a great start. Alright, we've actually got a decent one here. It's from Tattoo. He says, one of my mates is going on holiday to Germany next week and he's bragging all the time to me about how I have to sit in school and he can enjoy his holiday. We both love football and I thought it'd be funny if you could Photoshop me next to a Premier League football stadium. Okay, that's what I'm talking about. Tattoo needs my help. So I'm gonna help him. So I headed onto Instagram typed in hashtag football stadiums I searched for hours through thousands of photos to try and find the perfect one for tattoo but I couldn't find it these just aren't gonna work there's no good ones here but tattoo needs my help he needs the George Mason nation's help so we're gonna help him so I had to take things into my own hands so I got dressed and tried to replicate tattoo's outfit to perfection I had the jeans I had the shoes I put my coat on and it was time to go I went to the station and met my friend Daniel we jumped on a train and made our way towards the Emirates stadium where do we go now we checked the map we walked and walked and walked we're on the right track until we found it there it is. And we made it. Once we were at the stadium, I showed Daniel the photo of Tattoo that I needed to recreate. We then walked around the stadium looking for the perfect position to take the shot to make it look like Tattoo was here with us. We found the spot. We took the photos. And whilst we were here, you know I had to get an Instagram. But it was done. We had our photo. Now we just needed to Photoshop. So I ran and I ran and I ran until I got on the train. Obviously, I couldn't run on the train. But wait, what did I see on the train? Oh my gosh, it can't be. Is that, is that... Balenciagas! For the whole train journey, I was mesmerized. What an experience. It was beautiful. I couldn't believe my eyes. But we got back to the station and I remembered my mission. So I forgot about the Balenciagas and I kept on running all the way home. All right, I'm back. Let's get this Photoshop done for tattoo. Okay, so here's the photo I took. Not the best photo of me, but that doesn't matter. I'm not gonna be in it. All that matters are these beautiful legs. So what I did was when Daniel took the photo of me, we also took one without me in the shot. So I should be able to remove myself from the photo really easily easily now. I'm not there. Boom, I'm there. And you see, there's a little bit of a difference. We're going to remove myself. There you go. I'm just going to try and blend it all a bit. So now we need to bring Tattoo in. I don't know whether I should like show more Photoshop because like some people comment on my videos that are like, we want to see you actually Photoshop stuff, but like I'm not a Photoshop channel. Like I want to incorporate Photoshop into my videos like I am now. But also kind of still like an entertainment channel. Let me know if you want to see me do another one of these. But anyway, right. So we're going to cut him out now. That actually looks so good. Oh my gosh. That, I'm surprised how well that's gone. Look, my legs actually look like his leg. Oh wait, you know what we need? The final touch. Just in case anyone questions it, just to make sure. Tattoo's had a nice day out in London. He's gone to the Emirates Stadium and he's even bought himself a new Arsenal hat. Tattoo, welcome to the Catfish Club. I hope you like it, Tattoo. I hope it tricks your friend. There you go, it is done. Now on to the next one. All right, next one, Photoshop for your video from PhotoshopGeorge123 at gmail.com. Please could you Photoshop me with you so I can tell my friends I met you. I attached the picture of me. I would really appreciate if you do this for me. I hope you like the picture by the way. 
Yeah, it's a picture of Shrek. I mean, this video is going great, let's be honest. All right, what else have we got here then? All right, we've got one from Daniel here, and he says, Hey, George, big fan here. I chose a kind of goofy and funny photo of me and my girlfriend having a laugh. Really looking forward to what you can make of it. I like this one. This one lets me be creative with it. We've got Daniel and his girlfriend. Not sure what his girlfriend's name is. She looks like a, like a Stacy. Sorry, Daniel's girlfriend, if your name's not Stacy. But for the video, <laughs> it's Stacy, all right? So first things first, we're going to make Daniel hold something, okay? It's going to be something that's making Stacy laugh. What would make Stacy laugh? You know what would make me laugh? Shrek. I just think Daniel looks like a big fan of Shrek. I think Daniel's favourite film is Shrek the Third, personally. I don't think he's a big fan of Shrek 3D. So he's holding the DVD with pride. Shrek the Third, his favourite film. He says to Stacy, Stacy, look, I've just got Shrek the Third. This is the fourth one I've bought this year. Ha 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 ha. And then Stacy's like, Come on, Daniel, you don't need another Shrek the Third. The house is already full of them. Oh, come on. You know I love Shrek. The Third's my favourite one. All right, we can keep it. It, but it's the last one. Oh yes, thank you, Stacy. You're the best. Woo 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 woo. You could say, damn, Daniel, back at it again with Shrek the Third. But then, oh no, this guy right here, he's clearly eating some spaghetti over here. But then he finishes his food and throws the fork. The fork goes back over his head, over here. It does a 360 in the air. It just misses Stacy's head. It goes past Daniel's face and hits the Shrek DVD. Oh no, boom, the Shrek DVD. DVD explodes. Daniel's now gutted that he's lost his brand new Shrek the Third DVD, while Stacy over here is relieved. She doesn't have to have another Shrek the Third in their house. And that was the exact moment this photo was taken. I mean, I'm not really sure if that's what you wanted from it, Daniel, but I hope you enjoyed it. All right, who's next? What is this? For vids, please. From Nutter. Oh, wow, 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 wow. Send me to a happy place like Iceland. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. You haven't sent me a photo of yourself. You just sent me gifts. What is going on. Hey George, I've sent you this picture for the video now. I sent you this one because once upon a time I met D Trump and he told me I'm going to make America great again by building a wall. Woohoo, good luck. Do you want a signature? No thanks, I said being a fool. Have you heard that This Is America song? No, I don't think so. Then he just into singing it. There's no photo again. What are the lyrics to This Is America? Can you really imagine Donald Trump saying, yeah, this is America. Woo, a Yeah, yeah. I'ma go get the bag. Yeah, yeah. Or I'ma get the pad. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> anyway, can we actually Photoshop some people now? Hiya, currently need to be in Paris because my Instagram likes have been pretty low lately. And I want to seem like an interesting person, even though I have the personality of an um um amobia. I had to crop out my head of the pic because it looked really ugly. Wait, what? Oh, how am I supposed to photo? What do you mean? What, do you want me to just put your legs in Paris? Like, I'm pretty sure people will be like, mm, that doesn't look that real. She's got no head. Hi, George, I haven't... <laughs> is this? Hi George, I have an issue, please help. It's a, it's a picture of a grandma. What is actually going on? Alright, on to the next. Who's next? I've got one here called Chicken Shop in it fam. From Fatima, she says Hey George, storyline. I work at a chicken shop and ended up in hospital because I got attacked by customers and they were throwing chicken at me. Do you want me to recreate that in a photo? Alright, you know what? We can do this. Alright, let's go. Okay, so Fatima's in the shop. She's on duty, you know, ready to serve some chicken. So this customer then comes in and he's like, hey yo, you, worker. So Fatima turns around and she's like, hey, welcome to Chili's. Can I take your order? Yeah, hello. Can I have two bacon rolls, please? Sir, you do know this is a chicken shop. We only sell chicken. I just want a bacon roll. Give me a bacon roll now before I turn this place upside down as he does a backflip. Look, sir, please calm down. I'm just doing my job. How can I calm down when you're not giving me a bacon roll? And then plot twist, who comes in? It's Daniel from earlier. What's all the noise in here? She's saying... She doesn't sell bacon rolls. That's because we don't sell bacon rolls. Hey, come on, calm down. She's just doing her job. You know what? Maybe you're right. Go on, you order your food whilst I decide what chicken I want. Thanks for that. How can I take your order? Um, I'd like to rent a copy of Shrek the Third, please. You do realize this is a chicken shop. We only sell chicken. You only sell chicken? Now I'm angry. And boom, just like that, Daniel was furious. This is an absolute joke. We've got to do something about this. And out of nowhere, they go behind the counter. They both grab the chicken. And 
and start throwing it at Fatima. Boom, it hits Fatima in the head. And again, that's what you get for not having Shrek the Third. Yeah, or bacon roll. Hey, I've got some bacon rolls at my house. Do you want to come back and watch some Shrek the Third? Okay, let's go. And off they went to watch Shrek the Third. Fatima's face was bruised. She was beaten up by all the chicken throwing. But on this day, a beautiful friendship was made. Daniel and the bacon roll guy. So there you go, Fatima. I think that was a pretty good representation of what happened. I mean, that's how I imagined it anyway. Oh, we've got another one from Emma this time. Hi, George. I literally love Shrek. Why is everyone obsessed with Shrek? I literally love Shrek with all my heart and would love to meet the guy. Please, please make my dream a reality. I mean, you know what? There's a lot of Shrek fans out there. I, I think I owe it to them. So, you know what? Let's do it. I should literally rename this video Photoshopping People with Shrek because that's pretty much all I've done. Oh my gosh, that's terrifying. Oh my gosh, that is the one. That is the one. I hope you like it, Emma. I think I've made your dreams come true there. Very, very realistic. <laughs> what more can I say? All right, next we've got Mia. She says, hey, George, I love you to Photoshop me in a nice, beautiful, hot country. Anywhere will do, honestly. Hats making me look like I'm in 30 degree heat will make me forget about the minus three weather and snow that I'm currently in now. All right, you know what, Mia? I feel you. It's cold in England too. I'm going to put you on a beach, you know, a nice tropical beach. So I headed back onto Instagram, this time searching for beach. And no, before you get any ideas, I'm not actually going to go to a beach. I looked through all the photos and I found the perfect one that I thought I could turn Mia into. All right, the photo's in. Now we just need the other photo. We need to flip her. What I'm thinking is... Is I might give her the other person's legs. I think that would work. I then remove the original girl from the photo and replace her with Mia. Right, now let's get Mia. Let's remove her from the tennis court. Right, what I'm going to do is, I think if we go like that, that looks all right. But I just need to get rid of the rest of her. So we went hard at work removing this girl from the original photo. I put everything I had into it. Blood, sweat and tears. It wasn't easy, but we put Mia in and it was done. And here it is. Honestly, guys, I think this is amazing. I think this looks so good. So here's before and here's after. I think it looks real. For me, this gets a 9 out of 10. This is almost perfect. It's just missing one thing. I just can't really put my finger on it. But wait, what's that? It's Daniel. He's back at it again. You know what this photo needs to make it a 10 out of 10? It needs Shrek. That's it. Daniel's right. It needs Shrek. All right, now it's a 10 out of 10. Obviously, Mia's on a date, you know. She's got all the food laid out. She's set it up for Shrek. Shrek's on his way. He's running over. Mia's about to unravel the layers of an ogre. Ogres are like onions. They have layers. That is perfect. That is the one. Is it good enough to post on Instagram? Did it make you feel better? Update, I emailed this photo to Mia saying, do you want to upload this to Instagram? And she said she did, but she was a bit worried about it. She was a bit scared if people would call her out. And that's where you guys come in. We as a community, the George Mason Nation, need to work together to support a fellow catfish. Here's Mia's Instagram. Make sure you go over to her Instagram, like the photo, comment on the photo, say it was nice seeing her, ask her how her holiday was was ask her how Shrek is but show some love show some support from the George Mason nation we need to fool her followers but yeah guys that is going to be the end of the video I hope you did enjoy I know this video is a little bit different but let me know what you thought down below and if you'd like more of these tell me if enough people want these I can make it into like a weekly series so yeah send in your photos to this email send me in a story of what you want me to photoshop and why but tell me what you think down below but yeah guys if you enjoyed Mason TV if you have enjoyed make sure you like comment and subscribe it's been George Mason over and out boom <laughs>